In this tutorial, we are going to discuss 5 Python tips for beginners. So let's start by tip number 1. Let's say we have 3 variables, product name, product price and in stock, and we want to check the data type for each variable. To be able to do this, we can say the following. We are going to use the type function, followed by the variable like this, product name, product price and in stock. Let's run and see the result. And as you see, product name is string, product price is integer, and in stock is boolean like this. Now for tip number two, let's say we want to create a tuple of one item like this. Now let's check the data type of this tuple. Let's run and see the result. And as you see, we are getting a string, not a tuple. And the reason is to be able to create a tuple of one item, you should add a comma like this. In this case, this will be considered as a tuple, not as a string. Let's run. And as you see in this case, this is a tuple, not a string. Now for tip number three, let's say we have a string like this and the string contains a float and we want to convert this string containing a float to an integer. So we are going to say int distance equal to int followed by distance, which is this variable and we will print the int distance. Let's run and see the result. However, as you see, we are getting an error and the reason is we cannot directly convert a string containing a float to an int. What we are going to do, we will say the following. We will say float like this. So we should convert to a float and then we will convert it to an int. In this case, you will not get an error. And as you see, we are getting the end distance without an error. Now for tip number four, let's say we have a dictionary like this containing a key and a value, and we are going to say the following. We are going to say for exam in exam scores, we will print the exam. And the question is, while looping over the dictionary, we will get the key or value or both. Let's run and see the result. And as you see, we are getting the keys in the dictionary. Now let's say we want both keys and values. So let's remove this. And let's do the following. So we are going to say for exam and score in exam scores dot items. So by saying dot items, we can loop over the keys and values. We will print the exam, which is the key and score, which is the value. Let's run and see the result. And as you see, we are getting key and value like this. Now for tip number five, let's say we are taking a user input using the input and we are printing enter exam score. We are adding exam score plus five and we are printing score with bonus. Now let's run and see the result. As you see, we are getting enter exam score, let's say for example, 88. However, as you see, we are getting an error. So let's remove this like this. And the reason for this is the default of the input function is a string. So in this case, we are adding a string, which is exam score plus an integer. So to be able to take the user input as an integer, we are going to say int like this. Now let's run and see the new result. Let's enter, for example, a score, let's say, for example, 85. And as you see, we are getting score with bonus, which is 90 without errors.